My career uh, largely has been looking at the human past. I've looked at the evolution of hominins in Africa and then their dispersal globally over the past 50 to 100,000 years. In this time, what we've seen is that humanity has been very adaptable. We've moved to just about every environment imaginable. We've moved to high Arctic. We have inhabited the denser jungles. We've inhabited even the dry, uh, arid conditions, let's say, of Australia 50,000 years ago. Culturally, we also adapt. And so we change uh, our circumstances of relationships, for example, our kinship systems. They are adjusted and oftentimes they are tailored to the new environments. Well, if humanity continues to evolve, that is, if we don't become extinct, the next one of these transitions is going to be the establishment of viable populations, both culturally and biologically, of humanity beyond the surface of the Earth. But we need to make a shift towards thinking of space exploration and space colonization in terms of evolution, in terms of this new evolutionary transition that will be required for us to make a success of inhabiting places beyond the surface of our planet. We now see, of course, with this new technology, we see exoplanets and solar systems well beyond our own. I think that ultimately we'll want to go there and uh, to do that is going to require this mind-boggling prospect of interstellar voyaging. We need to take time to learn how to do this.